Welcome to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm your host, Probability of Success Zero, and this is Series 7 in our playthrough series of this game. As with previous series, we'll be revisiting the scenario of Reforged Eden, which has been updated to the corresponding Imperion uh, version, which is 1.9. So, I've not played Imperion for quite some time. It's going on about six months now but I'm um, very eager to get back into it. So let's start with uh, creating a new game. So we're going over to the scenario. I'm selecting Reforged Eden. Uh, we're going to call this Reforged Eden 1.9 and it's going to be series, hmm, series 07. We're just going to set that and we're going to go through to the starting location now. In fact, let's just randomize the seed. I'm going to set it to some random number that looks very similar to what we had last time. So we're going to set it to that instead. Uh, we're going to start this playthrough on Omicron, which is the arid start planet. Now this one is particularly more difficult than our previous playthroughs. Normally I start on an oxygen bearing planet. This one is not a oxygen bearing planet, it is not breathable. And also it is quite sparse of vegetation and of animals. So it is going to present some additional challenges to our start. On top of that, we're also going to face problems with the environment itself as the temperature range as you can see from these two numbers is particularly wide we can go not particularly too cold but we can get particularly warm on this planet so we're going to have to watch out for our body temperature now we're just going to go to the difficulty settings now i'm just going to set it to hard and i'm going to customize it down from there so yes progression is going to be slow if i can just stop clicking uh degradation speed is going to be slow uh food consumption is going to be normal along with the oxygen consumption uh temperature is going to be normal as well uh these settings are going to be rich plentiful and this doesn't really matter as we're not going to have time to use auto miners uh, difficulty is going to be for the enemies is going to be medium uh, normal and normal again then we're going to have the uh, constructor speed is going to be normal uh, instant for repairs and blueprint construction and we're not going to have any limits on spawning and blocks but we but we are going to have limits on the uh, mass and volume and on the CPU usage so that should set us up for our difficulty settings I think that's a pretty good setup slow slow yeah that's right nothing yep okay and let's click start and see what we get so for this particular playthrough we for our first mission our second mission is to secure iron. Our third mission is to build a portable constructor. And then our fourth mission is to build fuel canisters for the atmospheric condenser so that we can get a permanent source of oxygen and water. So looking around quickly, oh there's a mountainous area just there behind us, we want to be nearer to the water. Uh, no we're not going to get any closer, that's not a good position, that's going to be quite, quite difficult, oh man, <laughs> I was hoping to be near water, uh, great okay, that's going to cause some problems straight away right we're gonna decline on this and click off okay we're gonna check the 
thing for um, supplies. We haven't got anything inside there. Uh, we want a thermal regulator and our condenser. Um, gonna eat our protein bar straight away. Don't think we're gonna need these things. Okay, go straight into our suit constructor. We are, are going to build a second survival device, multi-tool and a detector. And immediately look for food. So some food just over it. There's also a structure there. So we're gonna go straight to that once we've got some food. Oh, come on, grab it. Oh, this is not a particularly good area. I mean, it's alright for food, but I'm not seeing much of anything else. Right. We've got the second... Yeah. Okay, so the reason we've done this is the first one's going to be set to weapon. The second one's going to be set to mining, so we can just switch straight between the two without having to click out. And I'm just going to see, is the detector active? Right, so we just found something over there. That's good. Not found anything else. Fantastic. Right, just grab some more food. Right, and then straight back into the constructor and we're just going to start spamming loads of protein bars. Right. Oh, we discovered an ore wreck. Come on. Alright, so the next thing we can do, because we're picking up vegetables, we're just going to eat them straight off. Let's get them in. There we go. Right. Oh, this looks like a good one. Oh, and there's a container straight away and optical wires like we really need them. Um, fantastic. <laughs> I was hoping for something a bit better than that, but oh well. Um, I'm not seeing any iron. Let's get the uh, old drone out. Oh, is that? I think that might be iron over there. Iron there, there. Is there anyone? Yeah, there's one over there, and no one over there. Right, okay. So we've got to go over here. We've got no choice. Got to do this quickly because we're. <laughs> We'll run out of oxygen and food. Oh, oranges. Yeah, we'll take them because they help to cool you down a bit. And there's a deposit of, well, a bearing of iron. Should be a no one round here, I think. Put a jetpack on. Yeah, they're below us. We'll just check this out quickly, see if there's anything we can loot. I'm not spending time drilling. Not until we've got a mechanical drill. Yes, we've got a container. Right, it's not quite what I was after, but it'll do for now. Anything that helps us, it's going to help us at some point. So we're going down the hill now towards the water. Hopefully we'll find some more iron, which I'm hoping is down here. I can see, yeah, I can see a couple of bearings. They need to sort out the hit detection on that, um, on the protein hot dog plants because I'm clicking on them and it's not until you look directly at the base you can actually pick them. It's a bit annoying. But 
I'm looking at it, can't pick it. I'll look at the yellow bit, can pick it now. Right, I should. Should have enough iron now to build a constructor, but we do need to unlock it first, so we'll do that next. Just gonna grab a bit more iron from this. Uh... Oh no, that's silicon. Okay, we'll have that. Right, let's have a look. Okay, so we need to unlock. So F3, go into miscellaneous, unlock the portable constructor, come back out, go back in. And let's put that on there, take them out. So we've got a few protein bars already. Gonna eat some fruit, Gonna eat some vegetables. Gotta have your fruit and veg. There you go. Uh, we're gonna consume some oxygen. <laughs> That's gonna be an issue rather soon. Okay, let's uh, grab some other stuff while we're at, at it. Um, there's nothing else here. I thought there was no iron. Yes, he's over there. Is that iron? Or... Yeah, it is iron, not silicon this time. got some wildlife over there I'm pretty certain it's safe so we're not going to worry about that just yet good job really because I've not exactly got my old frosted shotgun handy not yet anyway I'm gonna head towards the water because that's gonna help us oh body temps going up so yes we do need to get to the water oh more silicon Let's grab that. Is that. I think that's copper over there. Yes, it is copper. Oh, what a find. Okay, any others? No. Right. Oh, some silicon in the water, so we're going to grab that. Two, actually. I've just seen that one as well. Oh, there's a lot of silicon in the water. Hey! That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like the light effects off the rock in the water. There's more silicon over there. So we're just going to grab that. We really need iron more than silicon, but oh well. Grab what we can. So the portable construction should be done by now. Yes. Right, so what we're going to do, and we're going to have to set up a little base camp just here. We're going to do it by this rock. So, so we've got a marker. So, let's just turn that, uh, that, and we're going to put the thermal guide just there. So, throw that in, throw that in, um, doosh, doosh. Get them producing. Uh, eat some veg, fruit and veg again. Okay. Uh, right, we should actually be all right for logs. We can harvest these, I believe. This will give us plant fiber. Uh, it gives us logs. Two more logs. Right, I'm just gonna take this rock as well. I'll take this rock as well. Um, take a cactus, I can't remember. Is that fiber or a log? No, it's fiber, it's not worth it. Right, 
We should have enough now. So that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to produce as much biofuel as we can. Oh crap, no, 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 stop. I don't want you consuming the rock. There you go. Alright, so we may have to harvest you, my friend. Put you in there, because we're going to need the rock for other things. We'll get some more plant fiber. I like how we're drifting out into the ocean or lake. Don't give us one wood. That's not fair. Great thing about doing this on the water is it keeps your uh, body temperature down. There's a big rock over there, so we're just going to dive and get that one. Oh! Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Hey, seaweed. We like seaweed. Seaweed's good for protein. Grab as much seaweed as we can. There we go, level three. I like it. drop and get this stone it. Sure, what's dragging me back? I don't know if that's a new effect. Right, so we've got that. Okay, so we can go over to the atmospheric condenser, throw the fuel in, and that should stop producing this oxygen and water. I've just noticed we are sort of getting low on food again so we're gonna have to go and look for some more food a little pro tip I've realized that when you harvest these alien fawn cactus type things with the mining tool you should get oh not those ones but the cactus like ones oh, I like this one over here you actually get cactus fruit There you go, and you can eat that for a nice source of food and health. There you go, learn something new every day. Let's have a look at this structure over here. I think we saw that on the way down. Oh, more copper, that's going to come in handy. Let's just put drone up in the air quickly, have a look around. There's iron, iron, iron. Oh, this is pretty barren. Right, run the scan up. Found a wreck. Yeah, okay. Don't care about wrecks. Oh, oh, that's under. Copper deposit over there. Alright, so let's unlock some more stuff. So we're back into the menu. We need to unlock the mechanical drill. We also need to unlock the shotgun. Because that's going to come in handy. 
we need to get back to our portable constructor little home base all right let's get some of these stones while we're thinking about it I'm a little bit concerned by the lack of iron that picked up but luckily some over there but I don't want to go through you know Rapes in all the way over there, unless we really have to. We've got more fuel, that's great, so we'll throw that into there. So that'll give us two hours of operation, that's brilliant. So the next thing we need to do is build the mechanical drill. Um... Right, I'm not sure we're going to have enough for that. Um, let's go and get that to iron, unfortunately. Man. I'm going to have to start eating my protein bars. We're going to look out for food and get the iron at the same time. God, it's barren around here. We're going to go to the left, to the centre, and then to the right. Hmm, snow covered mountain over there. It might be worth going that way. Wow, I was not expecting my food to be going down this fast. Got oxygen going down really fast as well. I see some food over there. So we may have to go over there next. Okay, quickly dump that stuff in. We've got our drill, so we can replace that with that one. Uh, we're going to throw that in there. We're going to take the fuel. I need two more fuel, so we're going to do that. And we've run out of wood. So we're going to have to get wood from somewhere else. So we'll switch that to harvesting. Um, there's a tree over there. Oh, there's some protein over there, so we're going to grab that. Oh, some food over there as well. I think that tree's going to be cut down in a minute. The nearest one, I think. 
So you're going down, mate. Sorry. There we go. Right. Eat that. Oh, some more protein. So we're going to grab that as well. Start stacking up my protein bars again. Got to get those protein bars manufactured. I'm just watching the oxygen dropping like a stone. And that's supposed to be on slow. Right, so we've got logs in there. Oh, nice. And do one more. Throw that into there. Right, don't want to build the shotgun unless we have a clear need for it. Because at the minute we haven't really got a clear need. Alright, how much oxygen have we produced? Probably not enough. Only <laughs> three tanks. At least we've got some water now. Uh, we're going to have to use all those O2 tanks already. We are really, 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 really running out of O2 quick. Okay, so we're going to grab that. I'm going to put a waypoint on it. And it's gone and done a waypoint for the wrong... I, I don't even know sometimes. Okay, so copper there. Silicon, copper. That's not the copper deposit, but never mind. That's the iron deposit. Please do it correctly. There you go. We're going to go straight over to the copper deposit and we're going to get ourselves some copper because that's the one thing we're struggling for at the minute. And we're going to grab whatever food we can find on the way. I don't think it's going to be much to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm noticing the time as well. It's getting very, 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 very close to night time. All right. We over it yet? Yes, we are. Okay, drone time. Come on, Mr. Drone. We're gonna go dig in. Come on, down you go. There we go. Got copper. Oh, okay, that's quite a lot. Uh, 
let's come out of that for a sec. We're back now. Oh, that's not a nice tunnel if we fell down it. Up to level four, great. Slowing down now, we're not getting as much. Okay, I think that's enough light reload and we're gonna come out camera. Right, so we should have got yeah that's plenty. Now we've got to get back. So we're moving this way. I'm gonna set that to defense mode. Just in case we run into something on the way back. Oh my god, our food is just bad. Eat protein bar. I mean, that's why they were made. Yeah, we can't run anymore. So we can produce easily 20 lots of copper. Produce how many? One, two, three, four, five, six of iron. Now which we've got enough silicon for now. We are desperate for food so we're just going to jump in the water see if we can get some more protein so we worth putting our light on at this point yeah i can see some plants we've done them already yeah we have we'll have to do these ones level five nice too far I'll get that one I think we'll head back to shore
I'll keep producing those protein bars. I'm keeping an eye on my oxygen and my food. <laughs> how much oxygen has been produced only three tanks that's not good right so that should give us enough now to produce a shotgun And we'll get five lots of that. So get rid of that and well, it's always worth holding on to survival. All. So we're going to grab the shotgun and five lots of shells which will give us 150 rounds I believe To be fair I think we've done rather well The only thing's proving a bit of a nightmare at the minute is uh, keeping our food up but I mean, it is manageable. There you go, got that up. As long as we don't run around too much, we should be able to uh, survive. There we go, shotgun ready. Just waiting for the shells now. So now we'll go to the shotgun and just load it up. Yeah, it will be all right. Quick look at the map. So we've got this massive lake to our north. That'll be a nice source of protein, I suspect, for quite some time. You can see some mountain. Hang on. I can't even see that. There's a bloody forest on the other side. Oh, well, we know where we're going next time, don't we, guys? Straight into the uh, forest in the desert. Holy crap. So we're struggling on this side of the lake, and there's a bloody forest on the other side of the lake. All right, it goes all the way around here. It seems more denser on that side. Probably due to the fact it probably gets a bit more moist to the north. That's why we can see mountains with snow on it. There we go. Got a nice lot of uh, shotgun shells now. Got some more oxygen. Just going to pop an old tank. And we've got a fair bit of resource as well now. And one, two, three, one, two. We'll spend that. Now I think what we need to do now, now we've accomplished those few things, we've managed to do uh, our first five things, so we've now got oxygen being produced, we have got sources of food, I mean it's a bit of a hassle but we do have that, uh, the next thing we do need to sort out is some kind of transport, now I do have a pre-designed blueprint that I want to bring into the game for a small hover vehicle, 
So I'm going to see what resources that requires and try and bring it into the game. So for now guys, I'm probably going to call this episode to an end. I think we've accomplished quite a great deal for the first episode. We've managed to survive in a rather hostile environment. We've managed to get enough um, materials together to get a little base camp going. We've got uh, oxygen being produced and we're near some water. So I think that's all pretty good. So for now, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in episode two where we'll get ourselves some uh, wheels, so to speak, and uh, explore what's on the other side of the lake, I think. So in a bit.